guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everyone doing today? Well, it is a lot cooler today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was was pretty hot when we went out, but uh, yeah, guys, today's video is going to be kind of the same thing. We're going back to Barnes & Noble because today is July 1st, and it's 50% uh, off Criterion's at, uh, at Barnes & Noble, so I at least got to go check it out. There's not going to be a whole lot I'm going to get. I'm going to get at least one maybe two but that's gonna be about it there's one other title in july i want to get but otherwise i'm gonna take it pretty easy on this sale i'm not gonna go too nuts there's another one in november and i'll be honest with you there is between now and november there's about five cool 4k releases coming out so i might just wait for a lot of those but there's a couple things i wouldn't mind getting um so i'm just gonna run out i'm gonna do a few errands i'm not gonna spend a lot of time in barnes and noble so i figured we'll go in there we'll browse through there just a little bit pick up my couple uh movies that i'm thinking about getting and then i thought we'd just come back to the house and maybe i'll do like a tie in like a june pickups video the stuff i picked up this month because there's really not that much so i figured we'll just put them both together for one video oh my mom's here too she loves barnes and noble so she's going to go, too. She likes to look at the books. Who looks at the books, man? Yeah, I go for the Criterions and the Arrows. But she likes books. So she's coming along, and I told her I'd buy her an iced tea. So she's pretty excited about that. I am. She's very excited about that. All right, so, guys, um, let's go to Barnes & Noble. Check out the 4Ks. I do want to get this eventually, but I already have it on Blu-ray, so I think I'm gonna wait on that. That's a good release. That's a great release. All right, guys, well, we just got out of the Barnes & Noble, and I guess I did end up filming a little bit more in there than I thought I was going to. Uh, yeah, they had some cool releases. It was kind of, by the time I was starting to walk out. It was getting busy. We were having about the last five minutes or so that I was back there. There was probably about six or seven people shopping the collection. And Shaft 4K was one of the big things. I saw about five different people uh, the whole time I was there grabbing Shaft. There was like maybe six of them. And there was only a couple of them by the end of the thing. So Shaft on 4K was definitely one of the uh, most popular pickups. And uh, yeah, there were a few people back there. It's kind of funny. People are funny. Like you'll ask some people, oh, what are you picking up? And some people are really nice. Like, oh, hey, I'm getting this and this. are more than willing to talk. And other people look at you like you're a freak. So it's kind of it's, it's kind of hit or miss on who you're talking to. Because I asked a couple of people and they're kind of like, um, like, look, it gave me a weird look. Which I guess I'm, you know, who wants to be bothered by some random stranger? But some people are really willing to talk about what they're picking up. And some people like to talk about it. Some people don't, I guess. So. It is what it is. There were some cool people back there, um, but my mom picked up uh, my mom picked up a book. I can't talk apparently. Uh, so what did you pick up? 
I picked up one of the girls. This is a new author for me. It's a thriller that takes place on a Greek island. Should be good. Very cool. Now let's ask you guys this. She loves books, and I've been telling her forever that she should start a channel talking about books. Leave leave something in the comments below. If you think somebody should do that, like, like is that something that you would be interested in? I mean, do I have a lot of readers that follow my channel? Um, because I'm trying to get her to start her own channel because I think she'd be good at it, but she's a little hesitant. Uh, I don't know. She says she's a little camera shy, but I don't know. She doesn't seem to be very camera shy when she's on here. So, I don't know. Leave comments down below. Should she do that? I think she should. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to head uh, head back home, and I'm going to... We'll talk a little bit more about the couple 4Ks I picked up and the stuff I picked up for the month of uh, June. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. And we may swing by a cookie shop because I kind of want a little sweet treat for Stranger Things. That's another thing, too. That's a big thing I got to do today is they released the last two episodes of Stranger Things today. And it's like four hours of stuff. So I got to get that done today. And I kind of want to get a little something to snack on, you know, maybe a little cookie or something. And apparently there's a good cookie shop just down the road. So we're going to swing by there. And then we're going to swing home. And, uh, yeah. So I'll either see you guys at the cookie shop or see you at home. All right, guys, well, I lied. The cookie place we're going to is right next to a Target. And I can't go past the Target without going to look at the NECAs, right? I mean, I have to, right? All right, let's go check out the NECAs. All right, guys, well, it doesn't look like there's really too much at first glance. But let's see. Oh, yeah, a lot of Frankenstein. Let's get out of here. A lot of Back to the Future. Back to the Future, Predator, Halloween 2, Halloween Kills, uh, Master, yeah. Yeah, Halloween, some Batman, yeah, on the bright side it looks like they've actually sold some stuff which means that they may have the NECA guy in here at somewhat soon. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Just stuff I either already have or don't need. Terminator, Halloween, Halloween. Yeah. Not really anything else I need. Anything over here. Uh, no, not really. Oh, uh, here's it again. Like I said, if this wasn't broken, I'd maybe pick that up, but it's broken, so I'm not going to do that. All right, guys, well, that was kind of a bust. They didn't have anything in there, so we are going to leave Target and head out to the uh, cookie store. Four inch only a dollar fifty. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the house. Yeah, this video's kind of been all over the place a little bit. We spent part of the day looking at Criterion fifty percent off at Barnes and Noble. We stopped. We did a. a little brief NECA hunting thing. We shot some footage at a cookie shop. This video's kind of all over the place. And now we're going to talk about uh, my June pickups. Uh, not all of these are from June. Obviously, the ones I picked up today, which I'm going to share in here, I picked up in July because today is July 1st. Um, but other than that, I mean, I figured I might as well just add them in. Otherwise, the rest of them are from June. So we're going to start off with what I picked up today from the Criterion sale. Now this first movie is a movie I've never seen, but I just figured it's gonna have a lot of space footage and it probably looks really good in 4K and I've heard it's a great documentary. So I thought I'd pick it up and that is For All Mankind on 4K about uh, about the moon landings. I think it talks about, uh, uh, I think it goes over the course of yeah, it says the story of 24 astronauts who traveled to the moon as part of NASA's Apollo program. So, yeah, I think this would be pretty interesting. Uh, so I thought I'd check it out. There's the back. 
so yeah, I was happy to add that to the collection. Uh, next up is another movie I got from the Criterion sale uh, on 4K. It's a movie I've never seen. I mean, obviously, I've heard of this movie. I've heard the taglines from this movie. I've never seen it. And I've never actually seen the trailer till the other night I watched it. And I was like, ah, that looks pretty interesting. Let's pick it up. Um, so, of course, and this was one of the most popular pickups when I was there. Uh, I think everybody was buying this one. And that is uh, Shaft on 4K. So, yeah, uh, this is obviously a very popular pickup. I'm curious to go. I'd like to go back there in maybe a couple of days and see if they got any left because a bunch of people were buying this on Blu-ray and on 4K, mostly 4K. That's the front. I mean, look at that artwork, too. Criterion always has the best artwork. And there's the back. So this one, you actually get the 4K and the Blu-ray. Uh, what is this one? Yeah, this one, too, you also get the 4K and the Blu-ray. I'll be honest with you, they charge 50 for these, so they're 25 you know, at the 50% off sale. I would rather you just gave me the 4K and mark the price a little cheaper. If I have the 4K and it's a good 4K, I don't need the Blu-ray. But I suppose with the 4K, they got to probably put the Blu-ray in because they probably don't have enough space for all the special features. So I will probably delve into those and we'll probably do a review at some time. We'll delve deeper into those. Next up, if you saw yesterday's video, you've already seen these. But these are uh, the two pickups I got yesterday from the Aero sale. And it's the first one is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I look forward to watching this. I might actually wait till Halloween. I'm trying to wait on a lot of the horror stuff I have just to watch, you know, around Halloween. There's the back. So, yeah, Arrow, they're another one, too, that use has pretty cool artwork. So, there we go. We got Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Next one that we have, um, I was lucky to get this right when it came out. That's the thing with Arrow. It's If you want a slipcover, get them when they first come out or, like, the special editions. Because lots of times, once they're gone, they're hard to get and then they're expensive. Uh, so, yeah. I would have loved to have that um, for this, but I don't know if they even ever had uh, a slipcover. I think this one came out a while ago. But uh, it's Girls' Night Out. Once again, very cool artwork. This is all embossed. At 50% off. There's the back. So, yeah. Called the couple that I picked up yesterday, which if you saw yesterday's video, uh, you saw that. Um, next up was one that came in the mail today. Technically, I purchased this in June. It just didn't show up till today. And I'm very excited about this because this is, I'd say, probably my favorite director of all time. If not favorite, he's top three. Probably my favorite, though. Um, and that's Stanley Kubrick's Killer's Kiss on 4K from Kino Lorber. And these are another, this is another um, company that if you don't get the slipcover right away, usually they're hard to get. But uh, they might be doing a little better job of that. There's the back. Because I feel like you the slipcovers last longer. But I know like when the Good, the Bad, and, uh, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly came out on 4K. They had that slipcover. Sold out right away. And now people are charging ridiculous amounts of money for it. I mean, even used. with the, I think used, like with the movie and the slipcover. I mean, I've seen it upwards of like $150. Slipcover I see going for 100 bucks by itself and i see people selling it like on open as much as like 250 to 300 dollars it's absolutely ridiculous but uh yeah i love that slip cover i was happy to have this i ordered this originally from amazon pre-ordered it like two months ago back in like april and i never got a date never got a date and then finally the release date came and went and then i got an email from them saying it's this item is unavailable so i don't know i said screw it ordered it from somewhere else and got it two days later so very happy to add this to the collection i will be doing an unboxing well maybe not an un well, probably an unboxing and a review for this uh somewhat soon this movie's only like an hour long so it probably won't take very long to watch it only an hour uh, next up, I have a review on my channel for this one, so go check it out if you'd like. But the new release from Blue Underground, and that is Uncle Sam, the 4K. And it's got the cool lenticular cover. Very cool. This is a great release. There's the back. Blue Underground always does a great job. So go watch that review if you uh, want to know my thoughts on it. Next up, I believe this was a July release. I'm 90% sure it was, but it might have been, or I mean, I'm sorry, not a July release, a June release, 
but it might have been the end of May. I don't remember. I think it was June, though. And that is the new Lionsgate slipcover steelbook of Universal Soldier, which I have not even opened yet. I'll probably do an unboxing for this at some point and give away the digital code, as I usually do. And there's the back. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie, so I look forward to it. Uh, next up, I heard this was coming out, and I didn't really know much about it, but I've seen a couple people's reviews, and people are saying it was absolutely fantastic, so I had to check it out, and I'm a big fan of Synapse Films. So I had to pick up their Blu-ray version from Synapse Films, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. I love zombie movies. People are saying it's great, so I'm glad to add it to the collection. Can I show the back? Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's fine. We'll just do it quickly there. Um, but yeah, so I definitely look forward to checking this one out. I will probably do a review on this sometime short, sometime soon as well. I apparently cannot talk today. Uh, next up is from, um, what is it? Mill Creek? Yeah, Mill Creek. And it is their retro VHS line. Um, and it's their new release of King Ralph with the great VHS slip cover i love that uh i have this movie on dvd and it is a version on dvd i think this has different artwork too yeah there you go there's that there i have this on dvd and it's one of those packs that you could buy dvd and it's got like it's on like three discs and it's got like 30 different movies on it and it's just a shit copy it looks horrible it's all grainy so i'm interested to see and it's i'm interested to see what it looks like on blu-ray so Glad to add that one to the collection, and hopefully it's a lot better transfer than the Blu-ray or the, the DVD I have. And last, but certainly not least, is my big purchase of this month, and that is the new collector's edition from Arrow Video, which technically I got this during the Arrow sale too, because Amazon was honoring that 50% off. I got it on Amazon, but it was still 50% off, and that is Arrow's new release of True Romance in 4K, and it's that great release. A nice thick hard box release and there's the back then of course you get the poster the little booklet and the movie uh, i don't know how many discs this is though two three has it say on the back i don't know either way it's a cool release and it actually looks like i have two versions of the film i didn't realize that there's one that's like 119 and one that's 121 so not a big difference but yeah very cool. Very glad to add this to the uh, collection. All right, guys. Well, it's time for me to go watch Stranger Things because it is getting fairly late in the afternoon and I haven't even started yet. And apparently there's like four hours left of it. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. If you like this kind of weird video, kind of did multiple different things type video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Did you pick anything up? What did you get in June? Have you hit anything up already in the Criterion sale or the Arrow sale? Are you planning on it? Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. Let's talk. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.